Number 47. Many planets in our solar system contain organic chemicals, including methane, which is CH4, and traces of ethylene, C2H4, ethane, which is C2H6, propine, H3CCCH, and diacetylene, which is HCCCCH. Write the Lewis structures for each of these molecules. All right, so let's start from the top. We'll go with methane. So I'm just going to put CH4 over here. Now, just know that when you're doing Lewis structures, this is always for covalent molecules. So it has to be between all nonmetals. And in this case, it's always sharing electrons. All right. So in Lewis structures, we will see single bonds, double bonds, and triple bonds. That's how we determine if, you know, the two atoms in the bond are sharing electrons. Now, just know that hydrogen can never be the central atom, all right? So in this case, I'll just put Ca. Hydrogen can never be the central atom. So between carbon and hydrogen, carbon is going to be the central atom surrounded by four hydrogen. I'm just gonna put a C over here, and then I'll just show four hydrogen. So one, two, three, and four. And I'm assuming that you guys have done many Lewis structures before this question. So I'm just following my foolproof Lewis structured method here. And we already did number one, which was we wrote the blueprint for the atoms. Now we just have to draw the valence electrons around each atom. So hydrogen always has one valence electron and carbon has four. And just remember this uh, trend here for valence electrons. From group 13, which is this group, all the way to 18, which is the noble gases, valence electrons, which is the last electrons in the shell, go from three all the way to eight, and then hydrogen has one. All right, so we're just gonna put four dots around carbon. One, two, three, four. And each hydrogen has one valence electron, so I'm gonna represent that as just one dot. One, two, three, and four. And now we will bond only single bonds between the atoms. So a single bond is always represented as two electrons. So one electron from carbon here will bind with one electron from hydrogen, and you will do that for all of the other ones. Single bond up top over here, and then single bond to the left. Now just check for the octet. Now remember, hydrogen is special. Hydrogen, when bonding, wants to have two electrons. And for each one, if we look at the hydrogens, they will all have two electrons. If I look at this hydrogen, it has two electrons because a single bond is two and it's sharing now the two electrons, the one from carbon and the one that it had in the beginning. So each of these has two electrons, right? Two and two. And then if I look at carbon, carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. That's the octet rule. Octet means eight and we are good. So this is the methane drawing, perfect. Now we're done with this one. Now let's do ethylene, which is C2H4. All right, well, we know that hydrogen can't be in the middle. So in this case, it's going to be two carbons surrounded by four hydrogens. And with these, especially with organic molecules that they will start you off with, you try to want to make it as symmetrical as possible. So in this case, I will put my two carbons next to each other. And since I have a total of four hydrogens, if I try to want to make it as symmetrical as possible, I'll put two hydrogens on, let me just erase this. I'll put two hydrogens on the one side and I'll put two hydrogens on the other side of the carbon. And then let me just put the L here. Okay, so just like before, hydrogen has one valence electron, carbon has four. So I'm going to put one around carbon and then four around, uh, sorry, one around hydrogen and four around carbon. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and four. It doesn't really matter where you put your dots, just as long as you have four around the carbon. And now we will bond with the single bonds. So here's a single bond between H and C. Here's a single bond between H and C. Here's a single bond between C and C. Let me just make that a little bit nicer. This is a bond. And this is a single bond. And now just check. Now all hydrogens will have the two electrons that they want. This hydrogen has two electrons. This hydrogen has two. Two for this hydrogen and two for this hydrogen. But now let's check the carbons. Carbon has two, four, 
six, seven electrons. That's not the octet rule. And so is this carbon, right? Two, four, six, and seven. So this is where you will add multiple bonds if needed. And in this case, we need to add a multiple bond. And that's the remaining two electrons. They will form together to make a bond. So now this carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons, and so does the other carbon. So that is the answer for ethylene. So we could box that answer off. Next, let's do ethane, which is C2H6. So it's going to kind of be the same thing as C2H4. However, we just have to deal with six hydrogens instead of four. But we try to make it as symmetrical as possible. So in this case, I'll have two carbons. And then now, to break it up evenly, I'll have three hydrogens on one side and three on the other. So I'll put one, two, three, all surrounding this carbon. And then I'll have one, two, three, all being bound to that carbon. So let's do the valence electrons. Each hydrogen has one valence, so I'll draw one dot. And then each carbon has four. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, let me make that a little bit better. One, two, three, and four. And now we single bond them up. So I have a single bond between this single bond with these two electrons, these two electrons, these two these two, these two, and these. And once you make a bond with hydrogen, hydrogen will be good. This hydrogen has two electrons. This hydrogen has two electrons. And remember, hydrogen wants to have two. But let's check the other ones. Carbon wants to have the octet. Two, four, six, eight. So that's good. And let's look at this carbon. Two, four, six, eight. So that carbon's good as well. So that's the drawing, the Lewis structure for ethane. Now let's do propyne. Now they're um, they're drawing it a little bit specific here, right? They're drawing it H3C, CCH. When I see this long and drawn out format, I always work from left to right. In this case, it's stated as it should be drawn. So it means that these three hydrogens should be bound to this carbon, which is bound to this carbon, which is bound to this carbon, which is bound to an H. So literally just go from left to right here. So I'm going to put it over here. I have three hydrogens, which is bound to the carbon. So I'll put a hydrogen up here, one down here, one over here, and it will be bound with carbon. So now it's bound to another carbon, another carbon, and then we're back to H. Now let's draw our um, Lewis, well, our valence electrons, right? Each hydrogen has one. So one, two, three and four, and each carbon has four. So we'll say one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to count up to 12, but each one should have four. If you've seen this carbon has four valence, this carbon has four valence, so we're good. Now we make the single bond. So bonds all around. This is, will have a bond, this will have a bond, this will have a bond, single bond. This will have a single bond, and this will have a single bond. Now we just check. So all the hydrogens are going to be good because all the hydrogens now have two electrons because they're sharing with the single bond. So that's good. Now let's just look at the carbons. This carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. It has the octet, so this carbon is good. I will not touch any of these single bonds. Now let's look at this carbon. This carbon has two, four, five, six electrons. So that needs a little bit more help. And this carbon has two, four, five, six electrons. So that needs a little bit more help. So that's when we add the multiple bonds. So I'm gonna just add one more bond and then recheck. So here I got electron to electron, that makes a bond. And now this carbon has two, four, six, seven. And the same thing with the other one. 2, 4, 6, 7 for this carbon. So I need another bond. So you keep adding bonds until the electrons, the octets, make sense. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one electron and swing it over here. And take this electron and swing it over here to kind of make the triple bond in this case. So now I can bond it up. And what I'll do is I will just make this a little bit nicer. Okay. And let's check. 
This carbon now has two, four, six, eight electrons, and this carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. So there we go. And this will be the drawing for propyne. Last but not least, we have to do diacetylene, which is HCCCCH, and I'll do it down below here. So HCCCCH. I think there's three. One, two. Oh, there's four. Yep, that's what I drew. Okay. So once again, it's written in this long format, so I'm just going to write my blueprint from left to right. So it looks like I have one hydrogen and another hydrogen on the other side, and then in between I have four carbons. So one, two, three, and four. Each hydrogen has one valence electron, so one and one. Each carbon has four, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we will single bond it up and see if that's all we need or if we need multiple bonds. So here's a single bond, here's a single bond, single bond, single bond, and single bond. Now remember, hydrogen only needs the one bond, so that one's good, right? This hydrogen has two electrons, so that's good. But now this carbon has two, four, five, six electrons. Not good, right? It wants to have eight. So maybe it will make a double bond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these electrons and throw them in here. But with that, the other one has to come in as well. So now, let's see what happens. Now I will form a double bond, Oop, just like that. And let's see if that worked. This carbon now has two, four, six, seven electrons. We're getting there, but we're not there, you know, 100%. But I can now rope this electron in and this electron in to form a triple bond. And now let's see if this will help that carbon out. This carbon now has two, four, six, eight electrons. That's perfect. So now I won't touch anything. I won't touch the triple bond and I won't touch the single bond. And now let's keep going. This carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. That carbon's good. So that's a good sign. And now we have to go back to this carbon. This carbon has two, four, five, six electrons. So it needs help. So I'm going to just throw this electron in the bonding region over here, throw this electron in the bonding region and make a bond. And then recheck this carbon now has two, four, six, seven. Whoop. Well, you know what's going to happen. This electron's going to come over here. This electron's going to come over here. And we will form another triple bond. And now this carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons, which is good. And this carbon has two, four, six, eight electrons. And that is perfect. And now diacetylene is all good to go. And that's the end. We just had to draw Lewis structures for these five, I think, right? Five, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. These five compounds and 47 is done. So, guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. S uh, subscribe to the channel. That will really help us out, and that will let you know when we drop our next set of questions. And it's a win-win, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next question. Have an awesome day.